Hi, I'm James Askerhug, the co-founder of Ruriji, the reward-based social network. And today, I'm going to share with you the five books entrepreneurs should read. But first of all, why should entrepreneurs read books? And what is a good book? Well, a good book should have a balance of facts and stories. It should provide inspiration and action, and it should leave you changed once you have finished reading the book. So, will reading those five books make you a great entrepreneur? Probably not, but it'll definitely be a good source of inspiration and knowledge for you. So let's discover those five books. So the first book I'd like to recommend is the biography of the famous entrepreneur Elon Musk. I think it's really important to read biographies of successful entrepreneurs. First of all, to get inspired, but secondly, to see the level of grit and determination it actually requires to be successful. Success doesn't come easy. So whoever is your entrepreneur hero, go and get their biography and get reading. So the second book I'd like to recommend is High Hanging Fruit by Mark Rampola. This is a truly fascinating book showing how in this day and age we can create a startup with deeper meaning and higher values. Mark Rampola, the founder of Zico, shares with us his insight into his personal journey to create a successful and disruptive beverage brand taking us through the, his highs and lows of his venture. This book is a real call to action to the next generation of entrepreneurs to create startups that actually matter. So the third book I'd like to recommend is a book by Seth Godin, The Purple Cow. Although it's a 15 year old book, it's still full of truth. The idea behind the book is pretty simple, that marketing is less effective today than it used to be in the TV era. So the only way nowadays to grow your business is to be remarkable. So I really recommend this short and entertaining book, especially if you're interested in marketing. So the next book I'd recommend is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. This book explains how some of the most successful leaders think. In his book, Simon Sinek illustrates this way of thinking by building a framework and by providing real life examples such as Martha Luther King or Steve Jobs. What all those great leaders have in common is that they start with explaining the why rather than the what. So this book is for anyone who wants to inspire others. So the fifth and final book I'd like to recommend is not about business, it's not about self-improvement, it's about us, us as a human species. This is one of my favourite books I've read over the last 10 years and it's called Sapiens by Professor Yuval Noah Harari. In his book he retraces the evolution of mankind over the last 70,000 years and concludes by questioning how artificial intelligence, genetics and other technologies are going to impact our species. This is a well-written and thought-provocative book which tries to tackle some of the big macro-historical questions. And reading this book will no doubt 
enrich you and make you wiser. So now is time to start reading. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want more videos, click the subscribe button. Cheers. Bow, no.